Hello and welcome to Intro to Chia Lisp. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the very basics of Chia Lisp. We'll talk about a few things. The basic syntax and structure of a Chia Lisp program, puzzles and solutions, and set up a development environment to test it all out. So let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure you have the correct version of Python. If you type in Python 3 dash dash version, make sure you have Python 3.10. Next, we're going to want to create a virtual environment. So if you run the command Python 3 dash M V E N V V E N V, this is going to create a virtual environment that we can activate uh, to do our development in. And to activate it, we're going to type in this command bin slash activate. And now you can see that we are in a virtual environment. Next, we're going to want to install the Chia Dev tools. And you can do this by uh, running pip install Chia Dev tools and let it do its thing. So now let's just make sure we have the correct version by typing cdv dash dash version. And you can see we have version 1.1.4. So now we have our development environment all set up. Let's go over some Chia Lisp basics. This is the basic run command. It takes a list with an operator followed by two operands. In this example, we have the operands two and three, and they'll be added together. So we should get five. That's not very useful though. So let's create a program that we can pass in some parameters and do the addition for us. All right, in this example, we have defined a module that receives two parameters, arg1 and arg2 and then runs the operation on those two parameters. So when we run this, we're going to get the compiled version of the program that we just wrote. This is called the puzzle. The arguments will be passed into the puzzle as a solution. So how do we run this code? Well, our second command is brun. So if we pass this compiled puzzle through the brun command and give it a solution, such as seven and 10, it's going to use that solution as the parameters for the program. So we should get 17. Now let's talk about inequalities and if statements. In this program, I'm comparing two numbers, 10 and 5, and seeing if the first is greater than the second. So in this case, the result would be true, and we receive a 1. In the opposite case, it would be false, and we receive an empty set. So if statements are going to take this structure, if followed by our comparison, then the result if it's true, followed by the result if it's false. So let's run this program if one, which is true, return true, else return false. So we expect to see true. So let's create a puzzle using comparisons and if statements. So we're gonna type run, we're gonna define a module that takes two arguments, arg1, arg2. So we're gonna define an if statement. And we wanna know if we add the two arguments together, if they're greater than 100. So if, greater than the addition of argument one and argument two is greater than 100. Then we're going to return large if it's true and small if it's false. And we'll close this. And as you can see, it's really easy to get lost in the parentheses. So for future videos, we'll be using a text editor, which will make this a lot easier. But if we run this, we will receive the compiled version of our program. And let's pass that puzzle into Brun with our solution. So Brun, and we'll add 70 and 100, which is guaranteed to be over 100. So we should receive the result large. And that's it. That's the basics of Chialisp. We've talked about basic operators, inequalities, if statements, compiling our program into puzzles, and passing in a solution. In future videos, we'll talk about smart coins, signatures, and inner puzzles. Thanks for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next video.